Welcome back. In today's session, we're going to cover conduit kicks. And what a conduit kick is, is it's a 90 that is bent at a specific angle to then have a small offset to go flat. In this case, we are going to be having ourselves a one foot offset. We're going to be coming higher, dropping down to get to this elevation here of eight foot to then get into the equipment. Now Revit doesn't uh, necessarily like modeling kicks just by doing the trim command, which is TR as a shortcut. And as you can see, it will do that. However, what it does is it does a 90 to a, oops, I did not want to grab that door. It does a 90 to an offset, which that is a perfectly fine way of doing that. However, it's more efficient and it allows us to eliminate a single bend here if we do actually do a kick instead of an off, uh, 90 to an offset. So we'll take a look at that. And going to my trusty working section, we can see how this is looking here. And so what a kick is, as I touched on earlier, is a 90 that has an angle to it. And so what we're going to do is we want to have this at a 30 degree angle. Uh, 30 degrees is a standard angle for manufacturers. And as you can see, we have that drawn now and it's, it's got this nice roll to it. We we'll also do the same thing with the other one. And since we have the first one at 30 degrees, you can see how it's snapping to that center of the other conduit there as well. Now what we can do is we can eliminate the vertical portion, or not the vertical, but the offset portions of the conduit and the elbows there, which will give us a clean shot at connecting these. And now that we have these angles specified to exactly what we want, we can trim them but not knowing exactly which one is which here, we'll go to our trusty 3D view and we can rotate around and we know exactly which one we're touching base on. So then we can trim our conduit together and this gives us an electrical conduit kick. As you can see, it's a nice sleek look and it also eliminates one bend of 30 degrees out of our run, which helps us be more efficient and avoid uh, going over the conduit bends of 360 for standard NEC code. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.